Tonight, there are two more wind turbines in the works for Rhode Island. $240,000 from a Clean Air Act settlement will go toward building two windmills on the state land. Eyewitness News reporter Pete Mangione has this story now new at 6. Susan, this winter has been a great example of what a windy place New England can be. Now, the state of Rhode Island wants to take advantage. Wind turbine blades seem to be spinning everywhere these days, like here at Salty Brine Beach. With an extra $240,000 to invest in future projects, they will be humming even more. Rhode Island is lucky to have a clean, renewable resource with plenty of wind. On Wednesday, Attorney General Peter Kilmartin announced the funds will be put towards wind projects at Fisherman's Memorial State Campground in Narragansett and East Matunic State Beach. DEM Principal Engineer Lisa Lawless already has the plans drawn up. The one at East Matunic State Beach will be identical to the one at Salty Brine. The one at Fisherman's will be a little bigger. The $240,000 is part of a 2007 settlement with the American Electric Power Service, which had violated permitting laws of the Clean Air Act. The Fisherman's Memorial Turbine is expected to significantly cut down on current energy demands from the grid. It will cut down um, two-thirds of the amount of energy that will be required to come into the park from other sources. Excess energy that is not used is stored as an energy credit, which the state plans to put back into the community. We'll be giving those credits to the local low-income housing authority in uh, South County. Now, Rhode Island received a grand total of $1.2 million from that settlement with the company that was fined. That money was broken up into $240,000 annual installments. Live in the Pinpoint Weather Yard, I'm Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.